I have some incredible news for y'all. So I just got off the phone with Eric, and I haven't actually played around with, in one in one of these nickel metal hydrate packs in a while. It's been a while, but uh, last year someone sent me a pack for free, uh, and I figured, what the heck? Let's just see. Let's see if we can make these packs fit. So of course we have these new the new Honda Lithium packs, and I was thinking like, well, how are we going to do it? And Peter mentioned you can cut these out with a saw. But if you just take the screws out and you pull the OEM plastic trays that hold the old cells out, I want to show you something absolutely beautiful. So that's 18 cells. And that is 36. And this is 48. So that is 48 cells which is 202 volts or thereabouts with zero modifications to the OEM bay. So, uh, you know, they'll have to be a, look, these aren't, these aren't hanging out the back and even if they do a little whatever, but you can see too that you access the positives and negatives outside. So you just put the wires on beforehand and then you just plug them in after you slide the tray through. The OEM computers still fit on the top and at that point, all you need to do is we'll just have to drill some holes through here to uh, secure this plate. So I'm thinking just make a small plate, 3D printed just to prototype or whatever. And it'll screw on these M8 studs on this side. Do the same thing on the other side. And uh, that's a, a complete battery solution there. It's fairly light. Um, yeah, that's, that is a match made in heaven. So these connectors here then will basically just have a PCB that they, they plug into. And I mean, from there, what more could you ask for? This is an OEM solution. It's not even a permanent, like you could actually go back to nickel metal hydride if for some reason you wanted to. So that is absolutely amazing. Uh, this is a uh, five amp hour, 200 volt uh, conversion for the Insight with all the mechanicals basically just making a couple of freaking end plates that is very very nice i mean gosh it fits it fits like an absolute glove you've got like i don't even know three millimeters on one side and maybe three on the other it's it's pretty slick i'm very excited about that that is uh it's pretty amazing um so yeah you know we could probably reuse some of these stud holes here um and you know, from there, you know, you just throw the junction board back on the front here. You will have to wire the power to it. Um, you will have to wire the power to it with cabling, but I've already done that before with, with uh, some other prototypes. I've got one right here I'm grabbing right now. Sorry, I'm going out of frame. I've got both of them. So this is the OEM junction board. It just sits on right there and, and bolts into the OEM battery bays. And since we don't have the OEM sticks, you basically just replace those bus bars with with wire here, and you'll just stick these wires through, and they'll kind of just hang out the side. Junction board will go right on the top. That's a that's a drop-in replacement. That's pretty slick and no modifications whatsoever. Uh, so very very exciting. If you ever wanted a uh, lithium battery solution for your Insight, this is certainly it. And my goodness for the price, this is $440 shipped for 5 amp hour lithium. I'm going to grab a scale real fast. I'm just going to weigh that in. Get out of there. Right. Well, no, I'm not. The scale's not there anymore, but <laughs> this probably weighs... 35 pounds, I don't know, 40 pounds. Certainly very light. Certainly a lot of power. Certainly amazing. So yeah, that's, that's the solution if ever there was one.